Hello and welcome back uh, to XCOM Chimera Squad. My name is Saik and we're playing Impossible Iron Man Hardcore where we're playing the game on the highest difficulty. Single safe game and only one chance to complete all of the missions. Uh, it is time for an, uh, nice, a nice little other side mission in the fringe. Uh, hard tip uh, allows us to recover some extra intel plus alarium and a plated vest. Our team is uh, the team of the usual suspects. I would like to invest some more uh, supplies soon to get the mag weaves, but um, that's more a topic for our resource management in the future. Uh, the upgrades of all of the weapons plus the armor are quite pricey, so there are really not uh, that many options to, to get additional items for now, but it's okay. I think this team here will do just fine. We only got two encounters, so we should be good to go. Spotted the contraband. Recover as able. There we go, breach mode. So first unit through this entrance is guaranteed to land their shot. I like it. Uh, run gun ability, 25 defense. Okay, so I think the 25 defense uh, shelter can definitely use it. But shelter is, should be rather late in the game. First unit is guaranteed to lend their shots. Might as well take terminal as the first unit. Verge afterwards. And yeah, that, that looks like a decent uh, array. The run gun ability is okay, but no one of our team can really and truly use it. It's more for um, closer combat characters. Let's see who we're fighting against. So we got a bruiser. We got an arc light. That's a great target. Got a trooper. Got an archon. That's a good target as well. Got another brute. And got a thrall. You know what? We could go for the Thrall, to be honest. Or for the Arcolite. Let's go for the Arcolite first. I just don't like their damage profile. Thrall has a lot of cover. Might as well just lift him so that he will not take any shots, which is good, uh, good enough for us. Oh shit, I didn't want to take that shot. My bad. I wanted to hit the Arcolite. Hopefully we can still kill him. Yep, okay, perfect. That worked out well. That looks like a relatively easy uh, setup here. So, first things first. I think we don't want to deal with the Archon. So, one of the things that we could do is simply pin down the Archon and deal with him a little bit later. So, the Archon has moved to sixth place. And in the meantime, we are taking out the trooper. There we go, easy. Now we're back, uh, we're down to a four versus four. Okay, time for us to stun the Archon. Unfortunately, just a partial stun that is unlucky. Let's hit the Brute in the hopes of um, critting the Archon. It's a big, nice shotgun. Well, that's an option as well. I don't mind.
time to deal with the Archon. That's one hit. Very nice. Ah, too bad. He will probably use Burnout, but that's not the end of the world. Yep, he used Burnout. Shifting the Brute over here into a Burnout spot and pushing it down, by the way. And let's Soul Fire the Archon. Um, next up we should kill the Brute. I don't want any extra damage here. Unfortunately the Shrouded uh, condition gives us minus 25, that really sucks. But I'm still confident. The other alternative would have been uh, the Mind Network, but it wouldn't have dealt enough damage to actually get it down. Well, that's unfortunate, the grazing shot. But now, we are in a better position. So we do have two extra turns. One, to take out the Bruiser, and two, to Mind Flay. Such a good ability, I like it. Headed this way. Good, did anyone take damage? Yeah, Shelter took one point of damage. Prepping the Bruiser. Relocating the Bruiser back here and pushing his initiative down so that we can heal up. Looking for targets. Ammo's nearly out. Healing up shelter so that we're full. Yeah, and we're... I don't want to... Nah, we're... We're going to capture him. I want to make sure that we get the bonus intel. Mindflay is hitting him un uh, and making him unconscious. There you go. Alright. Time for number two. Last unit will have the weapon disabled. All units get plus three mobility. So who has no problem with their weapon disabled? Certainly not Blue Blood. He needs his weapon. I guess Verge is okay with it. Shelter is Shelter is okay with it. Good. Terminal. Verge, Blue Blood, Shelter, and let's go. Good. We only have one hostile unit, which is a Thrall. Got a Resonant, a Hitman, that's a good target, an Arcolite, that's another good target, and a Trooper. I think what we could do is, we could go for the Hitman. I usually don't like Hitman. They have a pretty high to hit, and they tend to be quite difficult to deal with. Might as well levitate the Thrall, so we're not taking any damage. That's fine. Oh, I like to set up that Arcolite. Let's kill the Arcolite. We have injured the hitman, that's good enough, but the Arcolite is just a tiny bit better target still. I see the <clears throat> and get out. Oh, 
All right, acquire the secured case. Um, you know, that is definitely possible. Shelter can do it. I would like to get blue blood up here because blue blood can deal a lot of damage and we will need that. Hitman is down to four. Blue blood can kill him, so there's no need to do that. I much rather would like to set up the bruiser here. Yep, that's a good setup. Yeah, because we do have a face lance, and the face lance would hit both of them, hopefully. You must be kidding me. Well, it hits those two, okay. Which still means we can... Go for the hitman here. Take him out and then face lance the other two. Unfortunately missed him. That's very unfortunate. That'll get rid of the bruiser. We're still... Yeah, I, I was about to say we still have 25% cover there. Can uh, take out the hitman. Taking out the trooper so that we're taking less hits. That's a great option, by the way, for a hit as well. I think we're going to go with that. Might not kill the hitman. No, just barely didn't. There's a bit of a healing going on, which is fine. Alright, uh, relocating the Brute to here. Mainly to push him down in initiative. Then Shelter is going to go for the actual target. And we're being able to leave hopefully very soon. Just need to extract the squad. Shelter gets another turn, which leads to another relocation. Castling. Pushing the brood even further down. Frying some corneas. Taking some bonus actions. Should we go out or not? I mean, yeah, I think shelter will be fine. Moving. Cover me. Uh, 
Can we take out a single enemy without a problem is the question. And afterwards we could move away. Thrall certainly would be an option. The Hitman would be another one. Yeah, let's take out the Hitman. Good, so that's one gone. And we're just moving out. If they move, I'll shoot. Take out the brute. He completely lost his turn. So we cannot be killed with two shots. Specifically not if they're missing and we're in low cover plus um, shrouded. Very nice. That's another kill. And we're getting out of here. Easy peasy. Only got three enemies captured though, so that was maybe on the low end side. Uh, so we might not get the extra intel out of it. The rest is fine though. There we go. We got 20 intel, so that worked out well. Minus 2 unrest, 20 intel, 15 aerium, and the plated west, so we got it all. Very successful. Good, so we got two options here again. Uh, investigation for more intel. Maybe not a bad idea. Or we got uh, some more Illyrium. I think we're really okay on the Illyrium front. Um, more intel could give us yet another upgrade. Yeah, we're not using our quarantine yet. That's a good cooldown the next time that we do have an actual increase somewhere. So let's just use the investigation here. We're back to 110 intel. We unfortunately haven't had a chance to get a lot of um, credits yet. Yeah, we're now forced to taking down the prog uh, progeny, which is the final mission. So we're going um, off the first chapter. So we're going to take our A team to it. I really like that mission. At the same time, well, there's not so much we can do really, other than that. It's a shame that we did not. Oh. Forget about taking our A-team. I don't want to interrupt his training. We're just taking the team uh, with uh, Shelter together. That's good enough. Yeah, there's no more stalling. We're, uh, if you have noticed, by the way, um, at the beginning I was just going through the purple missions pretty fast. 
and uh, the game always allowed us to take extra missions left and right and each of the purple missions almost started with like five or seven days um, so we had plenty of uh, missions um, uh, or plenty of time to to do the missions now as i'm starting the stalling tactic one thing that i noticed on the tactical layer is uh, that the actual um, main purple mission does not start with five or seven days it actually starts with three or two days so in this case the progeny could immediately be accessed and that certainly wasn't the case on my first playthrough so uh, the overall amount of days that you do have available is not unlimited that's uh, they use the critical missions to to essentially force you to um to progress which is fine i get it um uh, they don't want you to level in the first, uh, completely level in the first chapter, and that's okay. I I do not have a problem with that. Soon we got enhanced assault rifles, and we're definitely pretty much lacking credits. So that's one of the things we should um, maybe do a spec op uh, run for. Seventy five credits is not a bad idea. This brings us to the end of this mission, guys. Um, it was a shorter one. Uh, the next one will be definitely a more, a more lengthy one and an interesting one nonetheless, because we're fighting the progeny. So stay tuned, uh, hit the like button, leave a comment down below, and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.